guys, welcome back to another installment of our Every Room is a Different Color Challenge. Today we're working on the master bedroom and I rolled purple as you can see. I'm still very delighted by this house. I know it's ridiculous, but I'm so, I'm so in love. Unfortunately, I was not able to go with my beloved pastels. They have, it's been a bit ruined with the pastels. But I still really like what I ended up choosing. I kind of went with these doors in a lot of places just as a way to tie all the rooms together. I can't actually remember what wallpaper I went for, but I know that it's dark. I went for the jewel tones because I am weak. I tried though. I was like, oh, I'll do pastels. I'll do that. The problem is a lot of the purple stuff, like item wise and carpet wise, it's it's all dark purple for the most part. I almost went with this floor and then I'm like, that's a little ridiculous. But that light purple one I couldn't use because it just didn't match, which was frustrating in and of itself. See, so yeah, this is at this point I was still struggling to keep it. Oh. I'm actually taking a break right now. I'm working on <laughs> that's my frustrated mouse move by the way but yeah i'm working on sewing some pajamas for myself because joanne fabrics had the best fabric that i've ever seen in my life and they are sharks wearing christmas hats and christmas sweaters trust me it's it's glorious it's it's amazing and so i'm making right now i'm making the bottoms but i wanted to take a break because my hands are so shaky but I'm hoping I'll finish the bottoms today, and then I can work on the top tomorrow, possibly? I don't know. Tomorrow I'm going to the fair, which is very exciting. Uh, they're not having a real fair this year because of the whole pandemic thing. But they are having, like, the fast food stalls, so it's gonna be like a drive through event, basically. I mean, I'm not really sure how that's gonna go, but you have to eat in your car, at and you can buy whatever you want, and I'm very excited because funnel cakes are a thing that needs to be in my life right now. It's necessary. I am still on the pastels, but it's a losing battle. I like all these like loose beds, but I don't have enough frames to use them, which is a little frustrating. I need to remember to download more, even though all of my downloads are now broken because the update. This was recorded a little while ago. which. I really, really, I found one thing that was supposed to help, but I find it so frustrating that I have to go re-download everything. Like, there has to be a bit, and then I don't even know which ones are broken, and so I'm like, well, which ones are broken, which ones are not? I found a program that's supposed to tell you, but it doesn't work. And so I'm just left with nothing works. And I have so many downloads, like, it would take me days to figure out everything, and then some stuff's not available anymore, and that's one... Okay, so I was talking, and then it just, like, cut out, so as I say, that's one huge thing that I hate about the fact that they can update the game whenever they want. Yes, it's really great when there's bugs and things like that, but the fact that it breaks your CC is just... It's so aggravating. And I know they're gonna do it again to fix a problem that they've been having a huge problem that I still can't believe isn't fixed now, and that's the skin tones. So I'm just like, do I even want to try to download all that stuff again, knowing it's going to need to be updated again? It's just, it's frustrating. I'm not happy about it, because now i got to do my cash challenge with, like, no CC. Which is a true challenge when all the Maxis stuff's garbage, but... We'll see. We'll see. I might try and re-download things again. I don't know. Maybe just Body Shop. Anyways, this is me realizing there is no way I can keep the pastels going. So I was looking at that bat wallpaper that I've used before. And then a couple other different ones. So I ended up going with the dark version of that. Cause yeah, I was just, I was not, I was struggling. I feel like I don't leave that floor, but maybe I do. Maybe I do leave the slate and I just am forgetful. I couldn't really decide what I, where I wanted to go with this cause it's still, 
it's the kooky thing, but there's also like scary elements to it, which matches the outside of the house. Like the gray room had like the alien tent or like the alien tank, and I feel like the the pink room downstairs is just terrifying for the fact that it's so saturated pink. It's almost ominous. Not really. This is me trying to pretend, but this room isn't super cutesy. Like I did go darker. I love that bed, by the way. I think it's super cute. I really like a lot of a lot of the buy mode content, which I guess is one thing. So I don't with my CC, I don't have to worry about my buy mode stuff because I still have enough items for it to be useful. Like the the main pack without expansions. I like that spooky chair. Oh, I really don't want to finish these shorts. Like I'm so excited to wear them, but like I don't want to make them. It's hard, and especially the last time I made a pair, because you can make clothes from clothes you own. But I haven't really done it too much. So the last time I made a pair, they got so screwed up. Richard. Get down. 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 The cat's on my ironing board. Am I gonna have to throw a sock at you? I'd really rather not. Thankfully my iron is off, but yeah, there is not even remotely any kind of listening going on. I'm afraid it's gonna fall. Richard, get down! There you go, good boy! I think he's still a little bit bitter about being neutered. Just like a little bit bitter. Not super bitter. But like, there's some judgment. I love that bench, and I really wanted to make it work, but I was like, it's too green. It's too green. But like, I really wanted it to work. And yeah, this is my patented throw everything in the room! I really like those campfire chairs. Like, they come in a lot of different colors. I wanted to go for the kind of Victoriana a little bit. Victoriana? I don't know. That word. Which is hard to say. The Chesterfield. Like, Ottoman. I actually have a purple couch, just as an aside. It's, it's great. It's purple velvet. And it's so ridiculous. And... Yeah, zero, zero regrets. It's the greatest thing. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10. It's very tiny though, which I also recommend because it's funny, but I'm five foot two, so it's fine. I kind of wanted to put that at the foot of the bed, but then it was starting to bother me that the purple wasn't perfect. They're all different shades, which I know people have complained about before. And I'm right on that bandwagon of why, why are they different? Why am I keeping that heart chair? It's me looking for some kind of coffee table. I liked that one, but it was too on the nose. I really like that sideboard too. Because you have to introduce some colors into this room, or into any of the rooms, some other tones or things like that, like it's necessary. I put the steps because I imagine they have a pet and maybe that pet needs to go up the steps. I know it's a chair but, or a table, but don't judge me. I think it's a cute idea. But yeah, you have to try to get some other colors, like I have that chair with the yellow, like I didn't restrict myself to pure purple or pure whatever color I had, I could I could have items that had little bits of other color in them. It's like those end tables have some gold on them. The chair's a little bit yellow, there's brown woods. I, those are so cute. I had to put them in the room. I imagine that the person who owns this house is very eccentric, young at heart. I 
actually think that this is an elder who has lived in this house her whole life. And, you know, her family lives with her, but that's why her- and she gets the master, and that's why her master bedroom has a lot of very silly things. She's had her things in this house her entire life. So she has things from when she was a kid, those shelves. But she also has more grown-up things. Like, I know I put, like, a vanity-type setup. She's got the chairs. Things like that. I really wanted her to have a vanity. I felt like that would be an appropriate thing. Oh, I get rid of the stairs. Oh. Well, that was my thought process behind the stairs. Also, I know that chair won't work there, but it's perfect for like a vanity chair, so I picked it. I was trying to find stuff to do that was purple, that wasn't knitting. But it was a little rough going. And I was like, screw it, maybe she's got a candy bowl. I'm not going to judge how she lives her life. I was like, should we have two candy bowls? There was a purple game machine, but then I was like, where on earth am I going to fit a TV? And like yoga mats and stuff. I love those slippers. I love them so much. Like, they might end up in all of my houses if I, if they still work and are not broken. Why do I still have that chair in the room? I thought I got rid of it. The one with the heart? I genuinely thought I got rid of it. I'm just kind of picking out stuff. Because again, I just feel like she doesn't really care anymore. If she does something that's childish, it's just like, oh, whatever. Oh boy, I'm childish. Given her house, it's not super surprising. Oh, do I put the penguin in there? I do not remember. I feel like I don't. But maybe I do. But I was like, should I give her like some witchy stuff and just go full witch? I don't leave that penguin. Oops. I bumped my phone. Also, sorry if I'm spacey. I'm so tired and I don't even know why. I went to the chiropractor today, which doesn't normally make me tired, but maybe that was it. I have to get injections in my back and obviously the chiropractic visit and I also do PT, which is always fun. Maybe that's why I'm tired. That's exactly why I'm tired. Why am I dumb? I don't know. Now we're looking for a dresser that goes with the room. I can't remember if I actually found one or not. Yeah, I hate that. That better not be what I would go with. I don't think I do. Girl, don't you go with that. You know you hate that. You know you hate it. Girl, oh, oh, oh. It's our Lady of the Glitch. Welcome back, Lady of the Glitch. I've literally made our Lady of the Glitch a religion in my, <laughs> my Adirin playthrough. I do everything right and it still is just hateful as heck. So at this point, I'm just like, let's just lean in. Kind of like we lean into the hot vases. Let's just lean in to our Lady of the Glitch. She is a blessing. She comes to visit us and remind us to be mindful. Yeah, I got nothing else. That's just the silliness in my brain. 
I didn't cut it out because you could see it isn't all glitched, so it's like you cut out three seconds and miss a whole bunch of the room, or what, like, I don't know. I really wanted this setup, though. I wanted a vanity, even if it's a kitchen table and a bar stool. I wanted it. It's just so cute. You can't tell me that's not cute. Alright, this is just me fixing anything that's clipping. More Lady of the Glitch. I think I leave that heart chair and the penguin in there. I think I'm just not remembering right. I swore that I removed it. Uh oh. Uh, oh no, just think of it as an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> We're shaking it up right now, when we come back, it'll be a mystery to us all, because I don't remember Jack. I think I do put the cauldron in there. I think I just leaned into the weird Halloween vibes. I'm not surprised if I did. Got the Sixum Owl, which is super cute. Put the little toys on the dresser because, again, she's lived in this house her whole life, so she still has a lot of her childhood toys. And of course I'm putting plants in the room. I don't think anyone is surprised by this development. So much is probably disappointed, and that's okay. That is a valid response to my tendency to fill rooms with plants. I used to not do it. And then I feel like I was watching simmers that put plants in, and then I was like, oh, I want to put plants in rooms. Why don't I put plants in rooms? I do use that strange town vine thing. I think it looks really cool. And it's purple, so it fits the room. I wanted to use that somewhere, and I haven't been able to, and it's real frustrating, because that big fluffy ball tree is just amazing. I almost put it downstairs as a centerpiece before I put the David-esque statue. Oh, Our Lady of the Glitch, why are you doing this to us? We have been mindful. We have been aware of your great exalted presence. Can we see, please? Maybe? Oh. Maybe I shouldn't talk. Maybe she doesn't like when I talk. Huh? You see? I talk and she's just like, no! No, the video is like this the entire way, apparently. Uh, I really should cut all this out. But there are clear bits, and I'm extraordinarily lazy. I haven't even sped this up yet. Alright, so I'm going to stop talking here, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to speed up the rest of the footage and try to cut some of this glitchiness out. There's only so much that I can take. Okay, so, uh, I cut out most of it, and at the very end you can at least see what the final result was. I went a little, a little ham, as I did with this entire project, but I am really happy with the room. I will be sure to post pictures on my Tumblr so you can see the final results. And yeah, we're going to be moving on to the next bedroom. Hopefully Our Lady of the Glitch does not decide to bless us. But if she does, ah, uh, she does. So thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, especially when I have all of these issues. It's a lot of fun participating in these challenges, and if you have any other ones that you want to see me try, definitely let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.